Hey, hey guys, happy Friday. Hey, so I wanted to pop on here really quick and share with you guys the number one food storage mistake people don't realize they're making or they don't really admit to they're making. And I have been doing a lot of consultations for food storage and I just keep, 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 this keeps coming up. So when people talk over the years about food storage, this is what I've noticed the biggest thing. But first off, for those of you who are new here, I am Sharice Merrill, welcome. And I'm gonna share with you the biggest mistake I have seen people making with food storage that they really never admit to also. So the biggest thing people make is they store food that they don't like. Okay, now I know that sounds so simple and not a big surprise, but I wanna give you guys a few examples of how people do this and you might not be realizing that you're doing it. The first one is, have you ever been given food storage? Now, I've fallen into this trap actually just about a year and a half ago, but usually this is where the problem starts is people give you food storage and you don't have a food storage or you don't really have money to work on one, so you're gonna take it and you're gonna take that food storage or you feel compelled to take it because you don't wanna say no and you don't want the food to go to waste, but really, if they're giving you food storage and it's not something on your food storage list of what you need to buy, then don't take it and don't store it, okay? It's just gonna waste your space and not have enough space and room for other items that you do need to store. Number two, the ways that people do this is you claim you're storing that food that you'll eat it even if things go bad. So somebody gave you a whole bunch of oats and you never cook with oatmeal or spam. Spam is super, super cheap and you go and buy spam. Hey, thanks for joining. So it's okay to think, hey, I might eat this food if things go bad, but most likely you've got kids or grandkids or nieces and nephews and they might be coming over and eating too and they're not going to eat that. So yeah, you might eat it if things go bad, but what about everyone else in your household? Are you really, really going to eat it? Because I might claim I'm going to eat spam, but honestly, never, ever going to happen. So even if the food, and that brings us into the third one, is even if the food is cheap and you claim that's the only thing you can afford for food storage is cheap food, don't store it if it's not something that you're already cooking with and learning how to cook with. So a lot of people store rice, beans, wheat, and oats because it saves a ton of money and you can get it for super cheap in bulk, but they never cook with it. So if you're buying all this food for cheap and you don't cook with it, then don't store it or learn how to cook with it frequently, eat it at least once a week. So it is okay to store. And then the last one is I've actually had a couple of friends who have had this is they'll just find out that they're dairy intolerant or celiac and all of that stuff. So they've had food storage stored and now it doesn't fit with their diet. But they, they say, well, I'm just gonna hold on to it just in case because, well, I'll eat it in emergency, but if it's gonna hurt your body to eat it and you have specific diet restrictions with food you're storing, then just get that out of your house and don't use it. Use that space and start storing food that you can eat and that you will eat. So to recap, the simplest thing is don't store food you don't like and that you're not willing to eat. Even if you think you'll eat it in circumstances when they're dire, if you, circumstances are that dire, then to have to pull out a can of Spam to eat is going to make it that much worse versus pulling out a can of corn that you do like, that will make it better. So just don't do it, even if the food's given to you. Please just store food that you can eat and that you love to eat or like to eat or usually eat, right? So the best way to not make this mistake is to store food from meals that you're already making. So if you make breakfast from scratch or dinner, mostly from scratch or any of that stuff, you just convert those recipes into shelf stable recipes and then that's the food that you want to be storing in your food storage yes it might cost a little bit more than a whole bunch of beans and rice but it will be food that you already are eating and it'll be a lot easier to rotate so to recap please don't say yes to food that's given to you unless you already have it and know you need it please don't store spam or any other kind of food that you are never really ever going to eat 
Don't just store rice and beans if you don't already cook them and use them and your kids are already eating them. And four, just get rid of the food that you're not going to eat, that you can't eat anymore, or that's bad. Why store rusty canned food? Because it's better to have than nothing. Just toss it out and make space for new stuff. So if you want to learn more about how to build a food storage from your recipes that you're making now, let me know in the comments because I actually have a master class with that. And thanks for watching. Feel free to share it with a friend. Ask whatever questions you want about food storage. And I will talk to you guys later. Happy Friday.